This is Habit, a delay that's full of character, a musical sketch pad and echo collector, a pedal that will happily grow with you. In its simplest presentation, Habit is a delay, complete with blooper-style modifiers, a secondary playhead, and delay time up to 60 seconds. But for those who are willing to explore more adventurous territory, Habit is a compositional tool, like a freeform sampler, capable of creating chance encounters, happy collisions, and even entire songs. Habit is always recording in the background, yes, always, and it allows you to access its memory in exciting ways. But we'll get to that. First, let's have a look at the controls. The top three knobs represent classic delay controls. So let's start here and make a basic delay. Level controls the volume of the echoes. You can think of it as a wet volume knob. Repeats sets the number of echoes from a single echo when counterclockwise to stable, infinite looping when clockwise. Size controls the time between each echo. which can also be set by tapping in a tempo with the left foot switch. It's worth noting that adjustments to the size knob do not affect the pitch of the echoes. The modify, spread, and scan controls are where things get interesting. Modify introduces various effects for sculpting the echoes. We'll listen to each modifier here in a bit. Spread introduces a secondary echo, so you can play two different moments at once. Useful for multi-tap at shorter settings. parallel explorations at higher ones. The scan knob allows you to explore habit's memory, playing moments from the past. It can do this automatically or manually. We'll work our way up to a full explanation of this. As mentioned earlier, Habit has the ability to affect its echoes with a selection of modifiers. The 1, 2, 3 and A off B toggles select which modifier is applied to the echoes. Off, of course, means off, as in no modifier. The in, out, feed toggle changes the internal routing of Habit. In results in an accumulating effect from the modifiers, so with each echo, the active modifier is applied again and again and again. Out results in a consistent effect from the modifiers. Each echo will sound the same. Feed routes habits output back into its input, recording everything to memory. This is where things get really wild, so we'll save this for the end. The preset toggle stores a unique preset in the left and right positions. The middle position is live, which is to say habits internal settings will reflect the current knob settings. With a short press, the bypass foot switch activates the pedal. With at least two taps, the tap hold switch sets the tempo by adjusting the size parameter. Holding the left switch activates a momentary scan, which causes the echo to scan through the memory as if you were adjusting the scan knob. Press and hold the right foot switch, the echoes will begin to loop.
pressing both foot switches at the same time will clear Habit's memory. Habit's six modifiers can affect its echo engine in very interesting ways. The modifiers are stored in two banks labeled A and B. Select your bank with the A off B toggle. Now, select your modifier with the 1, 2, 3 toggle. Each modifier has a neutral position at 12 o'clock noon with different behaviors on the clockwise and counterclockwise sides. A1 is the step speed modifier. It changes the speed and direction of the echo and is quantized to fifths and octaves. Sweeping the knob clockwise will yield forward playback while a counterclockwise sweep will yield reverse playback. A2 is the stability modifier. It introduces tape like wow, flutter, and filtering. A clockwise sweep will also introduce noise, whereas a counterclockwise sweep will do the tape stuff but without the noise. A3 is the step trimmer modifier. It cuts off a portion of the echoes, producing a repeating effect that's synced to the size knob. It's a unique alternative to subdivisions. is the smooth speed modifier. It changes the speed and direction of the echo in a non-quantized way, and is useful for detuning or creating modulation effects like chorus. Two is a multi-mode filter. A low-pass filter, which removes higher frequencies, is found counterclockwise from noon, and a high-pass filter is found on the other side of the sweep. B3 is the dropper modifier. Dropper causes playback errors, little moments of silence. Sweeping modify counterclockwise will introduce random dropouts, and sweeping it clockwise will introduce patterned dropouts. While habit can be enjoyed and put to great use as an echo, its memory-related features set it apart and yield unique and special results. Here's a quick rundown. Habit is always recording its input into a three-minute buffer, which is like a big tape loop. You get to decide when, whether, and how this recorded audio gets used. You do this with the scan and spread knobs. Let's start with scan. There are two modes in which scan can operate, and you can select between them with the manual dip switch. Auto is the default and where you should probably start. It engages an auto-scan effect that causes habit to wander off on its own and play little pieces of the memory and then snap back to real time. It's a great way to mix in bits of the past with the present. The scan knob determines how often this will occur. When fully clockwise, habit will constantly scan its memory. As the knob is swept counterclockwise, the scanning will happen less frequently. At minimum, scanning is off. When the manual dip switch is engaged, you can move around the memory on your own, choosing which specific part is being played. Lower settings will work like pre-delay, Higher settings will play any of the last three minutes you choose. The 
spread knob introduces a secondary echo. This echo shares the same size and repeat settings as the primary echo, but it plays a different part of Habit's memory. The primary echo always happens first, and the spread knob determines how much time passes between echo number one and echo number two. In the first 30% of the knob sweep, this results in a multi-tap delay. As the sweep continues, Habit plays back parallel moments, echoes from the past, which can yield very interesting results. The collect dip switch opens up an entirely new side of Habit, which transforms it into a freeform composition tool. With collect engaged, Habit's three minute memory will overdub, meaning that as you play, new layers will build. What Habit recorded three minutes ago will be combined with what it is recording now, so on and so forth. Now this is important. Habit's memory comes before its echo engine, so anything you've collected in the memory will be passed through the echo before you hear it, which allows for all of the techniques and features we explored earlier to be applied to the contents of the memory before leaving the pedal. But if you want the memory to bypass the echo engine, just flip the wipe dip switch. In practice, collect is a powerful tool for building entire songs. For instance, let's say we lay down a nice three minute foundation. When we hit the three minute mark, the bass layer begins playing back. Now we can lay down another layer, interacting and harmonizing with the material that's already recorded. So now we've got two three minute layers. Next, we're going to talk about the feed toggle, but before we do, let's use it in our composition. With feed selected, the output of the echo engine is fed back into Habit's input, meaning every tweak we make to the echo engine from here on out will be recorded or printed to the memory. Because Habit's memory passes through its echo engine, we can use the echo controls to add some intrigue to the contents of the memory. All echo functions are fair game. All these tweaks that we've done are now recorded into the memory like overdubs. Well, let's look at why that happened. Feed turns habit into a closed loop. In other words, the output is fed back into the input and everything gets captured into the memory. That includes the echoes, knob movements, everything. When feed is active, the repeats knob now controls the feedback for the whole system instead of just the echo. You'll get metallic, evolving, washed out drones at higher settings. You'll also get more traditional multi-tap effects as the delay between the primary and secondary echoes recirculates and becomes a pattern. Feed is the deep end, and there's a lot of fun to be had by exploring its depths. So, that's Habit by Chase Bliss Audio. Echo, loop, layer, compose, repeat.